Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, <coughs> Rama Rama, Hare Hare. <coughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. <coughs> Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Amaita Giradhar, Shri Vasudhi Gaur Makhavinda. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. <clears throat> All kinds of purification going on here. Woohoo! Krishna, we love it. We call it cleansing crisis, spiritually, emotionally. Physically, mentally. <laughs> Krishna. Yeah, Krishna. Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda. So, let's read a little bit from Prabhupada's Bhagavad Gita, as it is. By His Divine Grace, Sesi Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. And here we go. This is uh, <clears throat> the contents of the Bhagavad Gita summarized, chapter 2, text 18. Krishna is enlightening Arjuna about the difference between spirit and matter, how the soul is eternal, fragmental part and parcel of the Supreme Soul. And there's another type of energy, it's the material energy, of the Lord, which is temporary and always changing, and they're two different things. But the conditioned living entity becomes bewildered and entangled. So <clears throat> this is uh, Hare Krishna. Yeah, um, text 19. Ya enam viti hantaram, yas china manyate hatam, ubautau na vijanito nayam hanti na hanyate. He who thinks that the living entity is the slayer, or that he is slain, does not understand. One who is in knowledge knows the self slays not, nor is slain. Now that's not a license to go out and kill. That's because there's reactions. Yeah, the, the living entity can never be killed. But there's a reaction for um, harming others. <laughs> there's a reaction. So you don't kill the living entity, the living being, but because <clears throat> um, you disturbed him or her or animals, humans, whatever, um, by destroying the body that they had to work with, you have to get a reaction for that. So you didn't kill the living entity, but you get a huge reaction for interfering in someone else's path of, of service to the Lord and advancement. So... But in this case, Krishna is ordering Arjuna to go ahead and destroy the bodies of those living entities who are um, going against uh, the orders of the Lord or the natural order of things and are causing a huge disturbance. So they do need to be eliminated. In other places, they're described as like if you have a garden, and you pull some of the unwanted plants out. We call them weeds, but actually they're just, they probably have some herbal significance or they do other things in nature, then they're part of things. But because it's 
a cultivated garden, it's an unwanted plant, so they call it a weed, and you have, they remove, they remove. So it's kind of like that, when Krishna is asking Arjuna to destroy the bodies of these living entities, it's, they're, it's like a weed patch, and Krishna is trying to cultivate something. <clears throat> so Prabhupada's purport, when an embodied living entity is hurt by fatal weapons, it's not, it is to be known that the living entity within the body is not killed. The spirit soul is so small that, if, that it is impossible to kill him by any material weapon, as is evident from the previous verses. Yeah, he's, the living entity is smaller than an atom, and a material weapon is made of uh, molecules that are made of atoms, like that. It's just like they wanted to study the movements of an electron, the scientists, but their microscopes couldn't magnify enough because the microscopes were made of electrons. So they had to study the activities of an electron another way by studying its, how it behaves. That's how they would study or see an electron, is by its activities. They couldn't see it with a microscope, no matter how much, because the microscope's made of electrons. So, so similarly, it's impossible to kill the living entity. It's so small. Nor is the living entity killable because of his spiritual constitution. There's no birth or death for the soul. What's the way to kill the soul? It can't kill the soul. What is killed, or is supposed to be killed, is the body only. This, however, does not at all encourage killing of the body. The Vedic injunction is, Mahimsyat Sarvabhutani, never commit violence to anyone. Nor does understanding that the living entity is not killed, encourage animal slaughter. Killing the body of anyone without authority is abominable and is punishable by the law of the state as well as the law of the Lord. Arjuna, however, is being engaged in killing for the principle of religion and not whimsically. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari. Okay, text twenty. Na jayate mriyate va kadachin, na yam bhuva bhavi tavana bhaya, huya. Ajo nitishasvato yam parano, na hanyate hanyamane sarire. Krishna is speaking here. He says, For the soul, there's never birth nor death, nor, having once been, does he ever cease to be. He's unborn, eternal, ever-existing, undying and primeval. He's not slain when the body is slain. Hare Krishna, Prabhupada's purport, qualitatively, the small atomic fragmental part of the Supreme Spirit is one with the Supreme. He undergoes no changes like the body. Sometimes the soul is called the steady or the kutasta. The body is subject to six kinds of transformations. It takes its birth in the womb of the mother's body, remains for some time, grows, produces some effects, gradually dwindles, and at last vanishes into oblivion, like a bubble. You know, kids play, they have bubble stuff, and you're blowing bubbles, and it's pretty. Actually, the universe isn't like that. They come and then they disappear, like bubbles. The soul, however, does not go through such changes. The soul is not born, but because he takes on a material body, 
the body takes its birth. So riding in this bubble. The soul does not take birth there. And the soul does not die. Anything which has birth also has death. And because the soul has no birth, he therefore has no past, present, or future. He is eternal, ever-existing, and primeval. That is, there's no trace in history of his coming into being. Under the impression of the body, we seek the history of birth, etc., of the soul. The soul does not at any time become old as the body does. The so-called old man, therefore, feels himself to be in the same spirit as in his childhood or youth. The changes of the body do not affect the soul. The soul does not deteriorate like a tree, nor anything material. The soul has no byproduct either. The byproducts of the body, children, are also different individual souls, and owing to the body, they appear as children of a particular man. The body develops because of the soul's presence, but the soul has neither offshoots nor change. Therefore, the soul is free from the six changes of the body. In the Kata Upanishad, we also find a similar passage which reads, and there's some Sanskrit here. And Prabhupada continues, the meaning and purport of this verse is the same as in Bhagavad Gita, but here in this verse there was one special word, vipaschit, which means learned or with knowledge. The soul is full of knowledge or full always with consciousness. Therefore, consciousness is the symptom of the soul. Even if one does not find the soul within the heart where he is situated, one can still understand the presence of the soul simply by the presence of consciousness. Sometimes we do not find the sun in the sky owing to clouds or for some other reason. But the light of the sun is always there, and we are convinced that it is, therefore, daytime. As soon as there is a little light in the sky, early in the morning, we can understand that the sun is in the sky. Similarly, since there is some consciousness in all bodies, whether man or animal, we can understand the presence of the soul. This consciousness of the soul is, however, different from the consciousness of the Supreme because the consciousness of the individual soul is prone to forget. When he is forgetful of his real nature, he obtains education and enlightenment from the superior lessons of Krishna. But Krishna is not like the forgetful soul. If so, Krishna's teachings of Bhagavad Gita would be useless. There are two kinds of souls, the minute particle soul, Anuatma, and the super soul, Vibhuatma. This is also confirmed in Kata, Kata Upanishad, some more Sanskrit. Translation, both the super soul, Paramatma, the atomic soul, Jivatma, are situated on the same tree of the body within the same heart of a living being, and only one who has become free from all material desires, as well as lamentations, can by the grace of the Supreme understand the glories of the soul. Krishna is the fountainhead of the super soul also, as it will be disclosed in the following chapters. And Arjuna is the atomic soul, forgetful of his real nature. Therefore, he requires to be enlightened by Krishna or his bona fide representative, the spiritual master. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 
Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama like it's different levels of realization and appreciation of what's being spoken here like sometimes just yeah okay I get it right and then just go about and do a bunch of stuff you know it's through the day okay that's good and he, all that you offer all that you do all everything should be done as an offering to me but then sometimes it's like you really get it <laughs> and it's overwhelming it's overwhelming it's Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 <clears throat> Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama So kind of in that overwhelmed state lately Hare Krishna. Ah, go in there. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Chaitanya. Vuni Chananda. Shiva Vaita Gadhar. Shiva Sadi Gaur Bhakta Mimit.